Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. It is set chat time, and that is the time of the week where we hang out and catch up and um, just chat for a bit. I hope you're having a great week. Um, my week was pretty uneventful so far. It's been a lot of softball watching, which has been which has been fun. It's been relaxing. It's been nice to just get out in the fresh air. It has been a little chilly, but it's been sunny, so working on the tan. Although I was informed last weekend that I'm not tan enough to wear white. <laughs> Oh yes, I know, I know, I joke, but um, yeah, this is me with the beatings of a tan. It's sad. It's so very sad, <laughs> but uh, I'm glad to be able to, I, I mean, I get out every day anyway, year round, but um, you know, when you're completely like bundled up with like hoods and hats and your scarves and stuff, your skin doesn't see the sun very much. So, uh, so it's, it's good to actually, it, to be warm enough that you can have your like arms out in the air. My shirt, I'm, I'm just actually getting ready to teach um, a Michael's class. This is what we're doing tonight. So I'm filming this Thursday night because I have everything set up in here, my hair and makeup's done, and um, I really have got to, I've been kind of like doing some studio resetting and I've really got to like just do some cleaning because like the floor really needs a vacuum, things need to be dusted. Um, so it's been a lot of studio reset stuff this week. Uh, so I thought I would turn on the camera before I check in with Michaels and Derwent team to do my class um, and, and do my set check because I don't think I'm going to do anything really exciting tomorrow that I'll have to report about. Um, so man, honestly... <laughs> There hasn't been too much exciting happening here. I, I watched the show on, and by the way, if you've never watched Sat Chat before, this is honestly just like weekly wrap up. We just talk about projects that we've done throughout the week and um, I catch up with you guys and it's just kind of random. So just want to warn you about that. If you're expecting a tutorial, you'll be sadly disappointed. If you're expecting random wackiness, then you're in, you're in the right place. You're in luck. So I was watching the show um, Candy on Hulu. I, I, I kind of like those true crime shows. I watched The Thing About Pam. I think that's what it was called. I really found that interesting. Um, I also watched Julia on HBO Max. That was really good too. I watched that when I had COVID. I don't know if I mentioned that or not because that was a couple weeks ago. Uh, that was really good too. But anyway, so I'm watching the show and the guy that plays Candy's husband looks really familiar. And I'm like, what have I seen him in before? So I can't, I can't just watch a show. I can't just simply watch a show anymore. I've got to Google the cast like while I'm watching the show. Who is that? I know that person from somewhere. I am awful with like faces and names. It's terrible. Like I'll be talking about some like actor or act actress that I saw in something and I'll be trying to explain it and nobody knows who I'm talking about. Or like anytime I see like a commercial, like I think I know who that actor is. <laughs> I'm awful, I don't know what it is. I think I have that thing where you can't tell faces apart. You can't, <laughs> I don't know. Because um, this guy, I, I knew I'd seen him in something and I still can't figure out exactly what I know him from. But, um, but so I looked at the, looked up the cast to see all the people that are in the show and try to figure out where I know them from. And, uh, and I didn't really recognize any of the other shows that he was in, um, but, it said he was from Reedfield, Maine, which I'm like, first of all, there are not very many famous people from Maine. So we got Stephen King, we've got uh, Patrick Dempsey, we've got Anna Kendrick. Uh, I mean, that's it. That's, that's, those are our main celebrities, okay? We don't have a lot. Um, so I'm like, Reedfield, Maine? Well, the weird thing about the town of Reedfield is that I feel like I'm related to half that town because, um, like, that's where my mother's from. My mother's one of 10 kids. And, um, like, there's there's a road in Reedfield, which I swear I'm related to every person on that road. It's it's really crazy. It's, it was fun growing up as kids because there were always tons of kids to play with because my mother's siblings all had kids. So, I mean, it was like, it was like be part of this humongous family. Um, so it was always fun to go up there, like, for a few days in the summer or a week in the summer or something because there were kids everywhere. It was so much fun. And I grew up not as an only child. I have a sister, but she's six years younger than me. So that was always fun just to, like, just, just a whole mess of free range kids, you know, because when you get that many kids, people are just like, yeah, they'll be fine. Go play in the woods. Don't fall out of a tree. Just be careful. <laughs> you know, there's all this loggy equipment around and like, you know, you know, old vehicles in the woods and stuff, you know, it was main, main old fashioned summer. You know, you're going to gonna make sure you get that tetanus shot before you go, <laughs> go and start playing in the woods. But anyway, so this, this guy was from Reedfield, Maine, and I, and he said born in 1978. And I'm like, ah, oh, I have a cousin. I wonder if she went to school with him because she's two years younger than me. And so, uh, so I'm like watching the show because I can't just simply relax and watch a show. No, I got to be doing research while I'm doing this. So, so I message her. I'm like, Jess, this is a really random question, but have you, do you know this person? Timothy Simmons, I think was his, was his name. And, uh, and I'm like, because he's from Reedfield, Maine. How random is that? He's in a show I'm watching. And she's like, why? Well, yes, I did. I went to school with him from kindergarten through senior year. And he's a really nice guy. And I'm like, 
That's awesome! I love it when I find out that famous people are really nice in person. Isn't that cool? Like when you found out some famous person's actually a really decent person, you know? So anyway, not really a brush with fame, but I thought it was an interesting little story. Because, and then Jess and I chatted for a little bit and we realized we haven't seen each other in forever. We need to get to get to get, uh, to get, <laughs> to get together again. I'm talking too fast. I'm tying my own tongue. Um, so anyway, that was a random little show about a TV show that I watched. I recommend it. It was it was um, it was entertaining. I don't want to say it was fun. It was about a murder. So, um, but it was entertaining. I enjoyed it. It was a mini series. Why don't they do mini series anymore? Not that we have regular TV. We don't. So I guess it was a moot point. I guess you can binge watch something called a mini series. But I always loved that when I was a kid, like to watch a mini series because like and like something to look forward to each night and like everybody's watching it and they talk about it the next day at school or at work or whatever. I miss that. I miss that community television viewing which I guess we don't happen, we don't have very much anymore. So um, I'm hoping that somebody else has seen the show. Can we can we talk about it in the comments below? What'd you guys think? I thought it was great. Don't do spoilers though, because other people might just have heard about it during Sat Chat and they want to go check it out. So we don't want to spoil them. Um, we don't spoil it for them. So what else? Well, okay, so we did a couple of projects this week. We actually I had a couple longer tutorials this week on YouTube. So if you like longer tutorials, if you'd watch those, maybe leave a comment. That'd be great because generally my longer form tutorials do not do as well on YouTube. I usually put them in Critique Club because um, because they, the, the time lapses tend to do better on YouTube because they're shorter, they're a little more snackable for people. But um, but I really felt like this was fun. I was having fun doing these projects. This was um, this was an experiment. I was playing. I was doing some backgrounds because this class I'm going to teach for Michaels tonight. It's about um, it's about like doing backgrounds, like ways to make your color pencil work go faster, different backgrounds you can do, different medias you can use. This is a finished pro I think I just showed you the finished project, didn't I? Um, so I thought, you know, it'd be fun to do like a different, and there's different techniques on that one than this one. So I'm not like, you know, you know, giving away the milk for free, if you will. <laughs> That's what my whole channel is. Um, so I thought I was, I was doing a background and I was wondering, I wonder if the like pastel watercolors and metallic watercolors and ink tents would show up on black. And they did on the black watercolor paper I had, and I'm like, I wonder if it would stick to black gessoed mat board with the clear gesso with the Liquitex gesso because that stuff is like magic. I don't think things adhere to it. They shouldn't adhere to gesso. They shouldn't adhere to it in an acrylic product. I don't know what's in that, but it it is just magic. It's like fairy dust and moonbeams or something. And this is watercolor. This background is done with watercolor, and um, it works so well. So. I was so excited about that background. I'm like, oh, I think I want to do a little painting on this. Let's see how it accepts pencil on top, right? Because I'm going to be teaching these different backgrounds. I'm like, I want to have an example. And so I'm going to film it. And that is on my channel if you want to check it out. It was a lot of fun and it's quick. I think we did this in like, I think it was like 45 minutes or something, which that probably doesn't sound quick, but for a colored pencil, that's pretty quick. Um, and we kind of went over layering soft pencils over hard pencils and, you know, different ways to build up quick, quickly and quickly and thickly and get, get, you know, your idea out there on paper before you get bored with it or overwhelmed or, you know, sometimes it can just feel like to start a painting, especially with a slow medium like colored pencil, it can just be like, oh, do I want to do this? It's going to take forever. But it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to. That's the beauty of mixed media. It's exciting. It's fun. And so another thing I was doing, this was actually, this was supposed to be a loose watercolor because like every year, <laughs> every year, my husband buys me a plant and he usually buys me some basil too, which he did get some basil, and he'll, he will, um, his gift to me is not only buying the basil, but uh, potting it and tending it so it lives long enough for me to make pesto <laughs> throughout the summer. Um, I try to get the, like, the hang of pinching it back right so I don't kill it, um, but he usually does the watering and most of the maintenance because I don't know what it is. I mean, I, I look at a plant funny and it, like, it commits suicide, I swear, I have no idea. So anyway, my husband usually gets me a little potted succulent like arrangement every Mother's Day too because I love succulents. They're so pretty. I cannot keep them alive to save my life. But um, so the one he got me, I'm like, I got to paint it. It was funny because he actually picked one up for my mom and my sister too. And um, and so the three were sitting on uh, on the sh on the little pass through between the living room and the kitchen and and. Um, He's like, which one do you like? I'm like, I think I like the one that's in the urn because it was one that was in a teacup that was really cute too, and there was another one in a different uh, planter. And um, and he looks at the plants and he goes, one of your days are numbered. I think it's you. And points to the one that I had picked out. <laughs> so anyway, so I always paint the succulents before, like as soon as I get them, pretty much because I don't want them to die before I get a chance to. And um, I was gonna actually paint the ones that um, we're sending over to mom and my mom and my sister, but um, I didn't get a chance to before I went down to visit them. Uh, and anyway, 
uh, I was gonna do a loose watercolor like I did last year, maybe even the year before, but I was doing a loose watercolor and this is just a different paper. I wasn't used to it. It was the Arteza Hot Press Cotton and I like the paper. It works fine, but I really had it way too soggy. Um, cold press paper could take a little bit more water, it seems like, before it gets completely saturated and soggy. So this was pretty soggy, so I had I actually ironed it. <laughs> I took it in the other room when it was dry and I ironed it. Um, and then I went over it with watercolor cranks. I just wasn't getting the succulent, succulent -y feel that I wanted for it. Anyway, that was fun. That's like an hour and a half long project. Uh, that's on my YouTube channel if you want to paint along. I got some good feedback with it. Um, views were not doing so hot. I posted it the day, let's see, I posted it yesterday. Um, or was it today? Okay, no, I guess it was today. But you know, it just takes it takes a long a long time, if at all. They just don't get the momentum. And if a video is not getting the momentum, I think a lot of that is like YouTube not showing it on the homepage of my subscribers because they figured that's long. They're not going to watch it. Well, give me an unboxing, Lindsay. We need an unboxing because <laughs> those do well. I don't get it. But I try to. If I do an unboxing, I also. Like, I'll do the unboxing at the beginning of the video, then I'll do my research and I'll work with the product and then do the review at the end. So hopefully it um, it's not just empty calories of video viewing. It's not going to rot your brain cells. It'll actually, you know, give you some hopefully helpful advice. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so what else is new? What else is new with you? I, I've been I've, I've been puttering all week. It seems like just kind of puttering. Oh, so this is something. So with that painting... I thought, uh, so I, I don't know how I came across this. So I used to have a website and um, I'm, I'm, I have a blog. I pretty much do everything through my blog. For me, that's, it's easy to maintain. I've been doing it since 2008. It's just like, it's like brushing my teeth. I do a blog post like, um, well, not every day. I brush my teeth twice a day, obviously. But, um, but like I'll do, uh, it, I'll do my, um, a blog, like five blog posts a week. I used to do daily blog posts, but I'll do about five a week. It's just something that's in my routine and I'm used to it. Um, having everything kind of like spoken, like as, a, as like my blog is the hub and everything's kind of like a uh, arm or a spoke out from that wheel of the blog. Um, so I, I, but I did build a website at one, one point. And I say build in the loosest possible form of that word because it was very little building. It was like drop, dragging and dropping and clicking and pasting. And, you know, it was one of those um, Wix sites. So I worked with Wix. Um, it was a couple of years ago, probably 2018, 20, 2017 or 2018, somewhere around there. They'd reached out to me and I, and, um, and they want to sponsor a video, but I don't do a sponsorship and I actually haven't been doing sponsorships for the past year and a half. But anyway, I don't do a sponsorship unless I can f show you how to use this product. It's going to be useful to my viewers. I don't just like, you know, this is brought to you by blah, 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 because I need some money, you know, basically. I want it to be actually helpful to my viewers. So I thought, okay, I'll, I can demonstrate how to build an artist's website or, um, or a crafter's website or something like that that would be useful to people. And um, so I built it and I ran it, my husband and I actually ran it for about a year. We had a little shop on there. Every month we'd put new paintings up and we'd sell, uh, we'd sell a bunch of them. And uh, we did that for about a year. And I had a year free domain hosting with that sponsorship. Um, in addition to, you know, the, the payment that I got for it. And um, at the end of the year, I was like, oh, this is kind of a lot of extra work that, I don't know, I didn't really think it was worth it. I didn't want to spend the 300 bucks for the next year or whatever it was. So I'm like, eh, whatever. I, I, I'm not going to re, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to re-up, basically. But that website still floats around, it's still floating out there on the Wix, like, domain like you can find it um i mean not very easily not it's not searchable like if you search search the frugal crafter my blog will come up and my youtube channel will come up which is fine by me um so i had clicked a bookmark with that i had that bookmark and i clicked i'm like oh my gosh a shop is still active so i didn't even realize that um there's only a couple things up because a bunch of things had sold out so they didn't show up as as being active i would just like disable them and so i thought i wonder what would happen if i just put up as i do a painting i just put it up and in the video description is put like, um, if you're interested, you can own the original and then just put a link to it. Because sometimes people will contact me and ask, like, is this painting available? And then I always feel weird, like, you know, yeah, it's so much, you know, it's, it's this much. Or email me for info, because then it puts, I don't know, I don't want to put anyone on the spot. I want them to be like, whoa, that's way too much. Or, um, you know, and then part of me doesn't want to put, up, put it up because I know my work is so much, I don't know, I, I don't have confidence pricing my artwork. So... I don't know, I'm very uncomfortable with that, but I'm like, if I could just put it up and just put a price on it that I think is fair, 
and then if somebody likes it, they can get it. If somebody doesn't, if they don't like it, if they're like, well, who does she think she is highfalutin charging that much for her painting? Then they could just think that and they don't have to interact with me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so anyways, that's what I did for the, actually those two paintings. Um, I'm just, as, as, um, as I post a new video, if it's not a sketchbook, I might just pop it up there and say, in, with a link directly to it. We'll see. But the thing I was thinking that it might be kind of fun, like on those instances where I'm doing like a craft or I'm doing like a card, a batch of cards, and I made like 20 cards or whatever, and I need one, you know, I could be like, you know, I could put the other ones, maybe like just be like, you know, I could list it as, put like one listing and have all 20 there or something like that. You could buy one card or, I don't know, necklace or, you know, whatever it is. Because a lot of times I make a few prototypes before I actually do the project because I like to record live narration because I think it's a little bit more fun. And plus, if you make a mistake, then you can talk through it. That way, when they make a mistake, then they can see it talked through as well. Anyway, that's just something that I thought. And um, and I'll uh, actually put a link to it. You can go check it out. It totally does not look professional, guys. <laughs> I have, like, my YouTube channel. has I have a widget for my YouTube channel. So basically, when a new video comes up, it shows on my website. My website, man. I'm telling you, it's like a glorified MySpace page, I swear. It's not, like, classy. It's like... Oh my word. It is like, <laughs> if you ever thought it was hoity-toity before, take a look at that website. You will not think that anymore. I don't even remember. It has a contact form on it, um, like, so people could email me through there. But I haven't, like, I haven't promoted the website. I don't even have it in my YouTube, like, like uh, signature or anything, so I don't get contacted through there. But, um, but anyway, there was, it was fun to learn. It was very easy. Um, but I just, at the end of the day, my blogs is what I need to do are really, I don't make a living selling product. Sometimes I will open a booth, like in an antique mall or something, and put my stuff there for a couple of years and um, and then close it down. And I, I've done that like probably three or four times. That's kind of fun. But then again, it's very, I mean, it just gets stuff out. It doesn't really make a profit because all my profit pretty much pays is a rent in that place. Um, so I thought, well, this will be fun. This will be easy. I think I was a little inspired because my daughter's been doing Depop and she's been selling like vintage clothes and stuff on Depop. And I'm like, well, geez, that's kind of cool. That's, I could do something like that. And if I'm running to the post office, because if I'm, uh, you know, I often will mail, I mean, I occasionally sell paintings because people reach out to me and ask if they can purchase, will purchase something. Um, and if they're not horrified by the price or, you know, I had a customer this week, she's like, well, I think it should have cost blah, 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 which was like, you know, more than double what I charged. I'm like, well, I've already told you this price. Darn it. <laughs> no, she's a friend. I was glad, I, I was glad too uh, that she got a good deal, but still, um, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of funny. It's just a weird, awkward thing. I don't know anybody that likes pricing their work. And then sometimes I look at like what I consider like my peer and it's like, um, and the and I'll see a painting that's probably taking about the same time to create as, and it's like, you know, 10 times what I would charge and it's like, whoa, I don't know if she's charging a lot or I'm charging too little. I mean, and then there, there are people that put like 20 or 40 hours into a piece and are like, yeah, they're, that's a really fair price for the amount of time they're putting into there. And other times I'm saying like, boy, that's, that's surprising. They can get that. That's awesome. But, um, they might also have a gallery and the gallery might be setting their prices. So who the heck knows? I feel like it's just all shrouded in mystery and it's all smoke and mirrors. And yeah, I, I think my value is my teaching ability, not like my selling ability as far as classes go. Speaking of selling ability, and I got to go in a couple minutes because I got to check in with the Derwent team in like four minutes. Um, holy cow this week, guys. And I apologize if I have, um, enabled anyone that didn't want to be enabled or annoyed anybody <laughs> but man oh man there were some bargains to be had and though and ironically you know they say no good deed goes unpunished sometimes your good deeds are very much rewarded so um a viewer had reached out to me and she was looking for a watercolor set she had um pur purchased one that i'd recommended and she'd used it up and she wanted to replace it and it's not sold anymore and so i knew that that, that set she wanted was made by superior so um i linked up a couple other like sets that I knew were superior branded or made by the superior factory so that uh, I could actually get a clip in the back of my shirt that's kind of poking me because the shirt's too big <laughs> and I'm too lazy to alter it um but anyway so I was linking those up and I'm like but you know my favorite set actually to recommend as a budget set is a pretty excellent and so I went to look that up so I could um give her a link and then I saw that the Owen which is the same paint as a pretty excellent but in a different tin and it comes in their own half pans was like I paid $22 and thought I got a screaming deal for 36 colors, 
it was on sale for $21 and it had a $5 coupon, so it was like $15 for the set of 36 paints. And I was like, this is one you want to get. That's gonna, that's the best deal I've ever seen. And um, and so I'm like, I gotta share that because that sold out when I did my review. And then when it came back in stock and I posted about it, it sold out again. What I think is happening, I think that like if the boxes get damaged, they sell them on Amazon, they ship them to Amazon to get sold or something, because on AliExpress, that same paint is $65, or it was back when I was trying to find the paint for other people after they sold out on Amazon. So I shared that on my community tab and on Facebook. And then um, and then I was, oh, I have a video. It would have posted yesterday on how to refill your Posca pens. I bought a set of 12, actually, that's a lie. I had a set of 12 on my wish list. My husband got it for me for Christmas uh, like five or six years ago. And it's 12 extra fine point Posca pens. I refill them with um, my Dr. P.H. Martin acrylic inks or whatever acrylic inks I have, except for the white, which I mix block out white by Chromacryl and water, and I fill it with Axel, like it's a little more opaque. Um, so I was doing a video for that, so I was linking up, these are the pens that I, that I like. 56% off, the, that set of 12 had been like around 50 bucks for the longest time, for like the last four years, because like it's like after our, um, after I got mine, because it was around $20 like five years ago, the price skyrocketed, and I was like, what? Those are like 22 bucks? Um, so I had to share that because I, because Posca pens are crazy expensive. Maybe it's because there's been all those less expensive brands coming out that um, have driven the price down. But anyway, so I'm like, I got to share that because I haven't seen that deal anywhere. And then, um, Sennel, then one of you guys told me that Sennelier, the set of 18 Sennelier half pans, the artist grade one, uh, tin, and I bought that like, I don't know, five, six, seven years ago for like $65 and it was an introductory special and it was a great deal. Then it was on sale for less than $40. And that, that sold out like a snap. That's that's long gone. But um, so I posted those because I'm like, Ooh. we're having like um, deflation in some art supplies, not all of them, sadly. But like, I was like, holy cow, who's seeing prices go down right now? I'm like, I gotta, I gotta share with my friends because I would be mad if you guys, if you guys saw some awesome thing. I want you to tell me uh, what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm looking, oh, and I almost, uh, this has been tempting me for so long, but it's really tempting me because the price is down a little bit, but it's a little schminka. Uh, it's a, the Whiskey Painter mini palette. I know, I've got a thing for travel palettes. I have, a, I have a strange, my strange addiction is buying watercolor travel palettes. This is a little tiny, it's about this big, bijou box, um, uh, watercolor palette. It's got a flask in the back that holds water, and it's got a little bitty cup that goes over the top. It's the cutest thing ever. So whiskey painters schminka box that's something I'm but it is down it's down but it's still like eighty seven bucks so it's a little crazy but um, yeah I stock that one every time I'm I don't know what the point would be that I would feel like justified to spend that much on eight half pans of their choosing but um, but that's that's the that's the unicorn for me that's that's my uh, that's my what do you call it that's the dragon I want to slay I don't know. Well, guys, it's been fun. I don't have very much to talk about this week. Uh, I do have to go check in with Derwent Michaels and go teach my class. So I want to thank you so much for joining me for Sat Chat. Let me know what you're up to in the comments below, and I will try to remember to link everything I talked about in the video description. If I forget something, just let me know, and I can pop a link in there later today, which will be Saturday for you. But for past Lindsay, it's Thursday. I gotta go. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye!